In recent updates, it looked like Bitcoin could be putting in at least a short-term bottom with an inverse head and shoulders formation, but that prospect has since been diminished on this latest pullback with the market unable to even get back above that neckline. And when we look at the bigger picture, this leaves the possibility for a bearish continuation now ahead of a continuation of declines to fresh multi-month lows. When we pull this back and we look at this bigger picture here, we can see that the market is capable of a bearish continuation that extends down towards this next major support area, which comes in the form of these levels highlighted going back to 2017. You have the September 2017 low around 29.75 and the July 2017 low around 2000. So there is this possibility that we see additional pressure into those levels. At a minimum, if the market wants to see some pressure alleviated and for the market to start to push back to the top side, even on a short-term basis, we need to get back above 4480.